Welcome, my name is Dr. Jay Tita, and welcome to Metabolic Living's Immunity Upgrade Blueprint. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you are an individual and how important that is in the idea of dieting. You don't find a diet. This is a huge misconception. Instead, you create a lifestyle. Now remember, the best defense is a strong immune system. And how do you get a strong immune system? Well, you develop a strong metabolism because that's what provides the energy to fuel your immune system so it can do its job fighting microbes like bacteria and viruses. So welcome to the session today, and let's get started. Lesson two, this is really about what we call structured flexibility here at Metabolic Living. Now, I know that is a very confusing term. Structure and flexibility, aren't they opposites? Not really. And here's the way to think about this. I want you to think about getting ready to run a marathon. Everyone walks up to the front line of the marathon ready to run the race. And when the gun goes off, they all head off in a direction. And very quickly, you start to see very different strategies. Some people are running fast, some people are walking and jogging. Some people are walking mostly. Some people are stopping to get water. Some aren't. Some people have gel packs and things like that. Some don't. Some people stop and talk to people along the way. Others are very serious and focused. Some people are running with headphones on, etc., etc. This is the way to think about this. Of course, they're all running the race. There is structure to what they're doing, but they're all doing it in their very individualized way. Now, this is how you want to be thinking about metabolism and lifestyle and diet and exercise. This is the way that you want to be thinking about this. You don't want to be a dieter. This isn't a one-size-fits-all affair. It is about you as an individual and you creating a lifestyle for you by you. So, Let's get into this a little bit more then. Why don't diets work? Well, they don't work partly because just what I said, you are an individual. One size fits all approaches do not work. Think about that for a minute. The diet world, the world of metabolism treats you exactly the same as everyone else. It's a one size fits all affair. Everyone gets the same diet. Everyone gets the same exercise, not realizing that we're all very different. We have variations. Men are different than women. No duh, right? But of course, each man and each woman is different from everyone else. And the way to think about this is not finding a diet, but rather creating one. And you do that by understanding that we humans are different in four distinct areas. We call these the four P's, your physiology. And this has to do with your genetics, your biochemistry. When you eat a donut, it has a different effect on your triglycerides, on your blood sugar, on your hunger, on your cravings than it might on me. Your personality you show up in the world different. You're an experience, aren't you? You basically have a personality that impacts whether you show up happy or sad, how stress impacts you, what you do when the going gets tough, etc. Your preferences. Some people like beer and Brussels sprouts. Other people like sweets. And there's all kinds of people in between. Think about the sort of ludicrous idea that you're going to be successful in a lifestyle when all your favorite foods and all the things you like are taken out of the equation. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? And then there's your practicals. Basically, your situation, where you live, who you live with, the people around you, your work stress, your environment. This stuff is all very important, and it makes up your unique attributes. Your physiology, personality, preferences, and practicals make a huge difference. The idea here, what we're trying to teach you to help your metabolism and strengthen your immune system is a lifestyle that you can own, love, and live with that is designed for you by you. So let's talk a little bit about unique physiology. Each of us has a unique genetics and biochemistry, the way that food and exercise impact us. For example, some people eat protein and they get very satiated and full from that. 
Some people, not as much. Some people eat fat and it does, works better for them. Some people do better with carbs. Some people get gassy and bloated with lots of vegetables. Some people don't. These are all things that we need to kind of keep in mind. One food in one person is very different than that same food in another person. And we're going to teach you over time, over these next 30 days, how to decipher your own physiology. You also need to understand your psychology, how you show up in the world and how stress impacts you, especially stress of family, stress of work. We're each very different in the way we handle the stresses of life. This also is important because stress hormones, specifically cortisol, directly impact whether we can sleep, whether we can calm down, what we will crave to eat, how much we eat. And so certainly our psychology and our mindset play a role here. Again, you'll learn for yourself how to adjust and manipulate this and work on that attribute. Now, of course, when we talk about personal preferences, some people like foods like this and some people like foods like this. Some people are meat eaters. Some people are vegans and vegetarians. What we now know is there are many, many ways to be healthy. There is not just one way. The idea is to be open-minded enough and to play detective and become a metabolic detective instead of a dieter using this structured flexibility approach to start with a plan but then adjust, tweak, and sleuth just like a detective would to find what is best for you. Obviously, some people tend to gravitate towards certain foods and not others. What we're going to do is teach you how to make the right choices and what goes into the physiology and the psychology and the personal preferences around different foods. And of course, there also is the practical nature of this as well, right? Are you someone who's cooking for the family? Do you have someone who cooks for you? Do you have to do, you know, lots of convenient shopping? Do you have an organized environment or is it chaotic and messy? All of this stuff matters and is important as we begin to build this functional metabolism and strong immune system for you. These are part of the things that you're going to want to be thinking about. And so what I want you to begin to do is I want you to start thinking about what unique attributes you bring to the table. I want you to start thinking about, oh, that's interesting. You know, when I skip breakfast, it works for me or it doesn't work for me. If I eat lots of sweets at night, it works for me or it doesn't work for me. If I have a salad for lunch, it makes me ravenous versus if I have something more substantial. I also want you to be tapping into how stress impacts you and the environment that you're around and what control you have over those aspects. So the key takeaways today are this idea of every one of us needs some structure. And so that structure can be anything you choose. It could be any off the shelf diet. However, at that point, you then have to start paying attention to how your metabolism responds. That creates the flexibility. You have to adjust and tweak to design a lifestyle that is uniquely suited to you. And you do this by understanding the uniqueness of your four Ps, your physiology, your psychology, your personal preferences, and your practicals. So I want you to think over the next 24 hours before the next lecture, I want you to begin to think about creating rather than finding a lifestyle. And I want you to think about these four Ps. What makes you different physiologically, psychologically, What are your personal preferences that you love? And what are the practical considerations that you need to be thinking about as you embark on this metabolism strengthening, immune boosting program? All right. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. Remember, you can still join and access all the old material, including the workouts, these lectures, as well as the cooking demonstrations and recipes, we have free immune strengthening workouts, meal plans, and recipes throughout this program. It doesn't matter if you're paleo, keto, vegan, vegetarian. You've just learned that this is all about helping you develop what perfectly fits you. If you've enjoyed this lecture today, please share. Follow us at Metabolic Living on all the social media, including YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And remember, we're all in this together. It's all about boosting your metabolism, strengthening your immune system, and flattening the curve together. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you 